Good morning, guys. Today, we are going to add HTTPS to our API running in AWS. Uh, right now, we've got our API behind an Amazon EC2 application load balancer, which load balances all our requests um, to our um, ECS service. Um, however you're doing it, this will work for anybody using an AWS application load balancer. Uh, and you're going to need access to the DNS configuration for your domain name. Uh, we do that in Route 53. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. You're going to have to issue yourself a certificate, and I recommend doing that through AWS. I believe it's free. Um, so why add HTTPS to your website, um, especially your API? Well, if you want to browsers to recognize your website is secure, um, you're going to need to have everything running on HTTPS. Uh, it encrypts all the traffic between the client's browsers and your load balancer. Um, so it's really important to do uh, as far as security goes for your clients. So I'm going to jump over to the desktop view here. And let's dive in. So I've got this website, myademia.com, and I want to add HTTPS to it. Before we make the um, front end secure, um, you're not going to be able to serve HTTP uh, through uh, um, HTTP API data from an HTTP web, uh, HTTPS website. So before we make this HTTPS, we've got to make our API run through HTTPS protocol. Um, so I've got the API's address here. It's api.myudemia.com. And right now we can see it's running on HTTPS, which is uh, no bueno. So we're going to go over to our uh, AWS console. If you don't have this already, go ahead. Well, hopefully you've got this already if you're following this tutorial because this is an AWS tutorial. Uh, okay, and we're going to jump over to services here and search for certificate manager. And we are going to request a certificate for api.myademia.com or in your case, whichever API, uh, whatever domain name your API is hosted on. And we are going to add uh, this using DNS validation. So we're going to have to create some records in DNS uh, so that the certificate manager can verify that we own the domain name. And it says we need to create a DNS record named this type of CNAME, and this is the value of that record. Uh, so it looks like we can click through here. And look, this is going to create the record for us. So all we have to do is click on this, green, this button down here, and it does everything for us. It may take up to 30 minutes for the changes to propagate. In my um, experience, it doesn't usually take this long. But uh, we can see that we're pending validation here. Let's just refresh here and see if, uh, whoops. Let's go back to the certificate manager and see how we're in this state of pending validation. So we're going to go ahead and just wait for that for now. And while we're waiting, I'm going to jump over in a new tab. I'm going to open up EC2, where our application load balancer is hosted. And I am going to find that load balancer uh, that sits in front of our API. And that load balancer is called College API here. And I'm going to jump to the listeners tab. And right now we can see that we have a listener on port uh, 80, which is the HTTP port. We want to add a listener on port 443. And I think rather than adding one, we are going to change our existing um, listener to only listen on port 443 um, because we don't want unsecured traffic running to our servers. Um, let's see if that's been verified yet. We're still being verified here. Uh, usually this does take like one minute or two. Um, Let's see, so let's go ahead and edit this and see how far we can get. So we're going to edit this listener. We're going to change to HTTPS. Uh, 
our target group is going to stay the same. Yeah, it looks like we are still verifying this record here. Let's go over to Route 53 while we wait and just see that that record was created. So I'm in Route 53. I'm going to click on my hosted zones and click on myudemia.com, which is where the record should have been created. And yeah, sure enough, we can see this record here with this long string of text. And um, the CNAME record is in our DNS um, so, it should be verified shortly. And we'll just go, let's see. Let's refresh again and see if that's been verified yet. Yeah, so now we can see this status has changed to issued here for api.myademia.com. So we should be able to use this now. And I'm going to click this refresh button in this other tab. We're back in the application load balancer section. And now we can see our certificate api.myudemia.com is available to us. So we're going to click that and uh, click save. And it's giving us a warning that our security group doesn't uh, allow traffic on this port, which is good. Uh, because we can go change that right now. Uh, so we're jumping over to our security group right now. And we can see that only 80 is allowed. Uh, and I'm going to change that to only allowing port 443 now, which would be HTTPS. So I'm going to click down here to HTTPS. I'm changing this from HTTP to HTTPS. And you can see the port changes there. And I'm going to click Save. So at this time, uh, HTTPS should work for our website. And I may need to point uh, my API to, um, sorry, to HTTPS in my code now. And that's why I've broken my website here. Um, but if I go to api.myudemia.com, I'm sorry, HTTPS API myudemia.com, there we are. Our um, back end is secure. Uh, so I should be able to go and query some data. Yeah, sure enough, uh, we do have HTTPS uh, on our API here. And I don't even think we'll be able to access HTTP, which is perfect. That's what we want because we want to make sure our clients uh, have a secure connection between us and our load balancer. Uh, and we don't have to worry about HTTPS in our uh, web services themselves because all the uh, HTTPS offloading happens in our load balancer. Uh, so that's it. We've done it, guys. Um, it took us not long. I'd say, what, less than 10 minutes or so to get this done. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, next step is we're going to add HTTPS to our um, front end uh, website so that we get the full secure bar uh, here when we go to our website. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was useful. If it was, uh, click subscribe, uh, like the video, leave comments below. If you didn't like it or have any feedback, please leave that as well because I'd like to uh, learn and make these videos better in the future. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Until next time.